Isabel. Hey, Mateo, what are you doing here? Isabel's showing me the magic of science. Okay, Mateo, do the globe thing. So, as you know, today there's going to be a total solar eclipse. Mateo, that's when the moon completely blocks the sun. Now, everyone at the festival will want to watch the eclipse, but looking directly at the sun hurts your eyes. So I invented this. Oh, it looks like a telescope. It was, but I turned it into a solar projector. Look! So we can safely watch the eclipse on a wall. There you all are. Uh, it's time to go to the park for the eclipse festival. What's that? It's just an image of the sun. See? Oh, good. Oh, I can't wait for the eclipse to be over. Why? A total solar eclipse only comes to Avalor once every two to three hundred years. We're lucky we get to see it. Oh, not if Orizaba shows up. Who exactly is Orizaba? Long ago, there was a moth fairy named Orizaba. She lived in the shadows until one day she tried to bring eternal darkness to Avalor. A Meruvian wizard stopped her and sent her into the spirit world. But it is said she found a way to return to Avalor every solar eclipse so she can fulfill her dark plans. <laughs> Armando, you are the best storyteller in all of Avalor. <laughs> Come on, let's get dressed for the festival, Isabel. Armando, it's just a story. We'll be fine. Oh, let's go clothes painting. Ooh, that's so cute. <laughs> Check me out. Not bad. Hands a little long. No props. A little paint thinner. Hello, the medieval supermodel is waiting. Oh, and since it's me, I hope you'll spend a little extra time so my outfit's worthy. Where's the rest of the committee? The carnival starts in three hours. I got the balloons. Balloons are not medieval decorations. There's really old air inside them. Uh, well, uh, we do have a medieval minstrel. Uh, give it me a minute, m'lady. Uh, I got a tunith malut. <laughs> 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 your school down. Shall we join the gaiety, milady? <laughs> well, I'm really more the chaperone! <laughs> <laughs>